angry guy here, and women are furious that men are tired of them. Women are furious that men are tired of them. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the article. So we have an article here. This one actually comes from BuzzFeed. Before you get furious hearing the word BuzzFeed, let's just check it out. It's titled, I have zero patience for it. Men are sharing their biggest frustrations when it comes to dating. Okay, so men have run out of patience when it comes to dating. Dating in 2023 is no easy feat. Dating apps can be tricky to navigate. Ghosting is a thing that still exists. Sheesh, I'm tired just thinking about it. I came across this Reddit thread that asked men about their most frustrating problems in dating today. The thread was filled with interesting responses from the male perspective. Here's what some people had to say. The only issue I've had in gauging how quickly to escalate some women seem to lose interest if you move too slowly, and others get turned off if you push too quickly. Online dating really exaggerates this because you can't get feedback from body language during the conversation. Number two, the women want you to approach them but are unapproachable at the same time. Very interesting. Number three. How often women ghost. I don't care much about getting rejected. Sure, it sucks. But it's an expectation we have going into dating. And it's going to happen quite a lot. Reject me in any way except for ghosting. At least if I get blocked, insulted, or politely put down, I know the other person's intentions and can move on with my life. If I'm ghosted out of the blue... I have no way of knowing if the other person has moved on, is just too busy to contact me, or is playing hard to get. I take getting directly rejected 100 times over the ambiguity of getting ghosted by someone I was interested in. And one thing that women will do is not only will they ghost you, but then they'll respond to you later on, like a week later or two weeks later, and then say, oh, I was just busy. And if you try to say, well, bro, it's been two weeks, they'll act like, what, are you needy? Like, do you need someone to be there all the time for you? What, do you need a mommy? When in reality, what they were doing was they didn't want to block you because if they wanted to block you, they would have blocked you. No, they wanted to keep you around just in case because they're talking to like 100 other guys and you're just one of those prospects. So they're not very interested in you, but at the same time, you're not you're not someone that they want to block because they still may be able to use you. It's absolutely insane. It's so sad. Number four, women don't understand why men aren't vulner- vulnerable but will lose respect if you're emotionally weak. Women complain about the monotony of dating apps, then tell us it's not okay to say hi if we don't know them. Men are told to treat every woman like a queen as they tell us we are untrustworthy, uninteresting, and simple-minded because we are men. So guys, you're tired of being insulted. You're tired of being shamed. It's like you're telling us one thing, but then telling us another, and you're insulting us at the same time. Number five, women think that I am supposed to chase them, jump through hoops to gain their approval. Nope, I match your energy, and if you don't reciprocate, I have zero patience for it. If they were genuinely interested, they would put in tons more effort. Number six, my gripe with dating apps is that a majority of women's profiles just have their Snapchat or Instagram handle. Guys, we all know that a lot of the times this is just a transition for them to get guys over to their OnlyFools account. Okay? So they can start accepting donations either donations via Snapchat or get them onto OnlyFools so they can start earning money off them. Why the heck should I have to use another app's texting features when one exists in the dating app? It's quite simple because they were never interested in speaking to you in the first place, all right? It's just like how they use Twitch, 
YouTube and other social media platforms to, you know, as gateways to get you over to their only fools so that you'll subscribe to them and give them money in exchange for content. And they're like, oh, you can talk to me on only fools and I'll message you back on only fools. What do you like? I'll put together these beautiful pictures for you. All right. Oh, you want pics of this? You want pics of that? You want a video of me saying this or doing that? I've got you covered. Like this is this is really all it is today. All right. So number seven, the barrier to entry is quite high, but also the bar, but also the bar is on the floor. It makes me feel like there's something wrong with me if the minimum standards are so low, but I still can't get a date because they're not interested in you. Okay, they love Chad, Brad. Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, Quan, Enrique, the mailman, but they don't love you. All right? They only love what you can do for them. They only want your ATM, your attention, your time, and your money. Number eight, the most frustrating part of dating that I see is the unstated expectations. I'll read women's dating profiles, and the vast majority are about what they want. I'll read men's dating profiles. The vast majority are about what they have to offer. Any relationship that emerges as that emerges has an implicit expectation that man, the man, must satisfy the woman's wants. This was my experience when I was dating and married even 30 years ago. Most of my male friends who are married have a relationship that can be characterized by if you don't give me what I want, you'll be punished with negative emotions. If I have to do that for long enough, the relationship will end. Who wants that? Certainly not me. Number nine, modern dating is the most frustrating thing, specifically how most people my age, 20s, simply aren't trying to engage romantically. And this comes from different guys. These are, these are different uh, responses from different people on Reddit responding to the things that frustrate them mo- most about modern day dating and dating specifically on dating apps. Modern da- modern dating is the most frustrating thing, specifically how most people my age, 20, simply aren't trying to engage romantically outside of dating apps. And even if they do, the expectations are already so inflated by said apps, it just becomes a frustrating ordeal for both parties. Number 10, first dates would women my age turn into financial and relationship history colonoscopies? They want to know details of your financial prospects so they know if you can either keep up or provide, and they want to know what they are getting into because they are looking for the guy they hope to be buried next to someday. On a first date, they want to know the deepest and most painful details of why your first marriage failed that only your closest two friends in the world know. Oh, she's she's not worrying about she's not worrying about those things, all right? She's basically trying to figure out how much work she'll have to put into the relationship, how much money she can extract from you in the divorce, and uh, you know, how and basically, you know, if you have standards or not, because guys with standards are a problem. You know, she's basically looking for a guy that she can that she can extract wealth and resources from quickly and then get in and out. Because like I said, she's planning the divorce before she even plans the wedding. Number 11, I'd have to say the most frustrating thing we've seen lately is the judgment and worrying about what others think, whether it be family, friends, or whoever. Whatever happened to just being happy? Number 12, Before I got off apps, the common reason that frustrated me most was the unequal investment of females on their end. Guys generally get fewer matches, but don't mind the hard work to improve themselves and put in the effort to make things work. Absolutely true. However, the standards women set nowadays are just ironic to me. Personally, I found that women are too spoiled as they effortlessly get matches and male attention. Otherwise, I would not have read profiles of women who expect no less than a gentleman while they look like, and this guy uses the word rubbish. Okay, so these guys are frustrated. Number 13, with modern dating, 
I don't like the platforms. I am not witty enough to catch the attention of a match since I don't pay attention to my phone unless I want to. No notifications, no sounds. I don't like playing games of dating. It's 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 a, it's 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 foolish. It's completely pointless. No guy should be involved in this today. If you want to if you want to go on a date, go overseas. And I've already said this that more and more guys are going to start doing this. They're going to see the password bros having all the success. And they're going to say, they're going to say, yeah, I'm done with this. Guys, I've said this before, that trends become normalities and normalities become traditions. And what in the tradition, what's going to basically end up happening is you're going to have guys literally flying out of the country to go on dates. Okay? Like, oh, I'm going to go on this. I'm going over to Dominican Republic. I'm going to, or I'm going to South America, you know, South America, Colombia, or, uh, or, or, or Uruguay, or another country, you know? Are going, or even heck, even at the Philippines, Africa, you're going, or, or the Caribbean. You're going to have a lot of guys literally just flying out to go on dates with women, flying overseas to go on a date, meet these lovely girls, go on different dates, have a lot of fun, and then come back. So you're going to have guys that space out their vacation time, and they're just going to basically when they want to go on a date, they're going to go to another country to go on a date with a woman in another country. And American women and West women in Western society are going to say. Are you out of your mind? You're going to go halfway across the world or you're going to fly five hours by plane, you know, or or more to go overseas, to go and meet someone and to hang out and to do this when you can just meet someone and have a date here in the West. You know, how dare you? It's, you're just doing this because you can't find someone who actually wants to be with you because you don't want to work on yourself and get your money up. When the When the irony is that that's all men do. All men do is work on themselves. All that men do is focus on getting their money up, but it's not enough, all right? Unless you're a millionaire, unless you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, and a lot of times that's not even enough. Unless you're this tall, have this much money, have this look, you know, all these different qualities, you don't qualify. And even the guys who do qualify, they're just plan B guys because she doesn't actually love the guy. She's just using him so she can get what she wants, get her bag, and then get out. But like I said, guys, the, the trend is going to become it's going to it's going to become a trend and then a normality and then a tradition for guys to just basically go overseas when they want to date literally just to go on dates you're not going to date in western society anymore the you know when it cut you know the the women in western society they're basically going to become invisible to, to guys guys are just going to stop they're not going to bother them they're not going to speak to them they're not going to even go to the gym with them they're going to start working out at home or or joining a private club where just guys go to work out and they're going to work on themselves. They're going to save their money and they're going to go overseas. And it's going to happen with boys too. I've already said it. You're going to have these little kids meeting some little Slavic girl, little 13 year old boy, meeting some little uh, Slavic girl and, you know, talking, they're going to talk online. And it's like, you know, and, and what are the parents going to do? The parents are going to basically have to figure out how to find the money to go take this little boy to go meet his little girlfriend during summer. During the summertime and breaks, because they him getting mixed up with in Western society, because they know exactly what they can expect, you know. So it's 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 literally gonna it's literally going to be like that. All right, everyone's gonna be doing it. all boys, boys and men are going to be doing it. All right, not don't forget the boys. The boys are gonna be doing it too. All right, they're gonna complete like the girls and women are going to become invisible to boys and men in society. I'm telling you that right now. Number 14, the women will make rules for men who will make great partners before getting intimate with them, but will break those same exact for a random, conventionally attractive dude at a party. Yeah, because they're going to make you work for something that other guys just got easily. And then they'll say, well, why would you want something like that? Those guys, I was never serious about those guys. All right. And this is what, you know, like women like to say this. It's not true that nice guys finish last. It's just that I had to kiss a bunch of frogs before I finally found my prince. Bro. Okay, so you went through hundreds of dudes, all right? You have a body count in the hundreds. Well, I had to go through all of those guys until I found you. Don't you understand that? You're the one I chose. You should be honored. So all those dudes who didn't have to put in any of that work, Right, they don't have to put in any of that work. Got to got got it right off the bat, and basically, I'm getting the leftovers 
No, that's not how. Is that how you view me? You don't view me as a whole person. That's all you see me for. I'm thinking different of you. I'm thinking different of you. Be better. Do better. Guys, this is their attitude. This is their general attitude, man. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Number 15. And and, that's the last one. Women who show romantic interest and we grow closer together. But then when I try and take things to the next level, they pull back and say that they're not emotionally ready to be in a relationship. Then they immediately turn around and date someone else. She was just playing you, bro. She was just playing you. And a lot of times today, women are not just playing one guy at a time. They're playing with multiple guys. A lot of women are playing with 10 to 20 different guys at the same time. And they're just going through all of these guys and seeing what can these what can this guy do for me? What can that guy do for me? It's crazy. It's sad. And that's why you should not be a simp. Guys, it's no wonder that men are dropping out of the dating game and deciding that we're done. We're not going to have anything else to do with it. We're sick of it. And the, the crazy thing about it is that women, women brought this onto themselves. They created this reality for themselves. And they and they can complain all they want. They can moan about it all they want. But it's not going to change anything because guys are done. You know, you, you know, Elvis has left the building this is the world that women created and now they have to live with the consequences of that you know and of course trust me they're not going to take it easy they're not going to take it laying down they're going to be furious about it but too bad so sad you did it to yourself congrats ladies you played yourself guys what do you think about this women are fierce and men are tired of them i want to hear your thoughts regarding this in the comments you know what i think but i want to hear what you think all right so let's talk about it in the comments like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, man, walking away. And cheers.